Happy Friday morning. Good morning. It's Pastor Jerry here. How you doing? Hope y'all doing well. Um, have a little story to tell you guys how I was disappointed and then I have another another opportunity to kind of make up for things. Um, as you know, p people go through things, pastors go through things, men go through things, spouses go through things. Now, this is nothing going on with my marriage. My marriage is awesome. The church is awesome. It's just life. Since July, <coughs> specifically around the 4th of July, my wife and I have been believing for something um, in two areas, actually. And um, we know that we heard from God. We know what the word of God says about it. And so we began to stand on the promises of God. And uh, we have a saying that we're not moved by what we hear, see, or feel. We're moved only by the word of God. And so as time went on, I would get um, discouraged. I would get disappointed. And it got to a point where right now, this is the 16th of September. And this all started in around the 5th of July. Literally every day, it was a stress point. Literally every day, I had an opportunity to feel disappointment. Literally every day, every night, I'm waiting in expectation. And it's it's stressful. You know, it's just so stressful. And so earlier this week, I got an answer to prayer on one of the things. And a lot of stress came off of me. Uh, a lot of frustration came off of me. And but there was still one more thing left. And it got to a point where I just said, God, I'm done. I'm done. I'm just done, God. I don't, I'm, I don't care anymore. Whatever you want to do, you can do. I'm going to trust you, God. What a concept. Not that I wasn't trusting God, <clears throat> but I was, I was too focused on it. I was too, I still, you know, I still went about my daily uh, life. I still pastored. I still love pastoring. I love my church. I love my people. Um, my wife and I have the best marriage ever in 22 years this December. Um, I'm healthy. Um, so, but there were a couple of areas that my wife and I were really believing God for. And so this week was a really high stress week. And, um, but I still had a great week. I had a, you know, just it, everything's going good. So yesterday I got a, I got a answer to the prayer, <coughs> excuse me. And I knew that God hadn't forgotten about me. I knew that the situation was going to turn out the way God said it would turn out. I knew that the word that I'd gotten five or six years ago was a, a word from God. And so I began to rejoice and I got excited. I said, praise God. And I, and I started crying. I had tears in my eyes. And I felt li literally a weight come off of me. And I was just so excited. So I worked out that morning and I went and took a shower. And in the shower, I began to kind of process that day yesterday. And then I began to get kind of frustrated with myself and disappointed with myself because I'm still believing God for things, other things now. And my frustration on myself was after I got the visible and tangible answer to prayer, the weight lifted and I had a different kind of joy. I had a relief, so to speak. Well, why couldn't I have had that same feeling since July the 5th? I had faith that God would do it, but the enemy would come in and put doubt in my head, put discouragement in my head, he would come in and when things wouldn't happen, when I would get bad reports in certain areas of that thing I'm believing God for, it would just really kick me in the gut. And my frustration with me was why couldn't I have this kind of relief, this kind of joy, this kind of great expectation, this kind of excitement during the struggle. And that let me know where I wasn't spiritually. That let me know that I needed to grow more. 
And that let me know that according to James chapter one, that is what God is trying to work out in me as a Christian man. My impatience, my frustration, my wanting to have it now, my almost being controlling in certain areas. And so I just began to contemplate that and say, Lord, I'm sorry for, for, for not being patient enough to where I can have joy in the journey, joy in the wrenching, joy in the pressing, joy the whole time. And so I repented in the shower and um, I feel better. So I don't know if, if you guys are going through the same thing or if you have, but <coughs> whatever you believe in God for, don't be moved by what you hear, see, or feel, and have joy right now. I just speak joy over you right now. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care if it's sickness, disease, finances, divorce, bankruptcy, uh, eviction, um, whatever. You have joy, not the joy of, of, of lifting a heavy weight, but a joy of dancing in a, uh, a field of flowers like a three-year-old girl would or a three-year-old boy playing with a truck that he just got for Christmas, that kind of joy, knowing that your father has everything taken care of. All right, have a great Friday. I'm Pastor Jerry, I love you guys so much. And uh, we'll see you Sunday morning at church, either at our church, in person, our church online, or your church, wherever you go, anywhere in the world. Have a great Friday, see you.